Hi, thanks for staying with us. I'm Jenny Groh, and it's time for our weekly Adopt-A-Pet segment. David Lynch, Public Information Officer with the St. Lucie County, I'm sorry, the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. Mm -hmm. It's a mouthful some days. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys are here. Frank is here. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Frank. Well, this is Frank. He's probably a short-haired uh, chihuahua mixed with like a miniature pincher. Okay. And he was found by animal control, just wandering around. They uh, picked him up, brought him to us. We scanned him. He did have a microchip, okay. but sadly it wasn't registered. It seems to happen a lot, so yeah. you can't stress enough to make sure you register your microchip and update the information. Absolutely. Um, yeah, he's just happy-go-lucky guy, as you can see here. He's just trying to like <laughs> give kisses all over. He's a licker. Yeah. 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 And if uh, we all remember Chopper from last week, yes. that's his little buddy. They share the same kennel together okay. and they enjoy pool time together. We okay. had him out in the pool this morning, that's rolling around and stuff. They they enjoy each other's company. So and they didn't meet before. They so we do know that they do get along with other dogs. That's great. Yeah. And cats as well. Yeah, he doesn't okay. have a problem with cats. Milo, our, uh, our resident cat there, he's our, our dog tester as well. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's something he necessarily... <laughs> uh, I know, yeah. I don't know if it's something he necessarily signed up for, right. but uh, we kind of just threw him to the fire okay. and he didn't mind mind him at all. That's great. That's great. How old is Frank? He is seven. I think we were just an estimation of About the age that. by the plaque buildup and the teeth. Okay. Um, but he's very excitable and happy yeah. to be here and I mean seems to be running around. You said he likes the pool so he yeah. doesn't, he's a young seven. Yeah, oh exactly. He's pro He's got a 10 years probably left in his life. He's All still right. got a full life ahead of him. Okay. And he's a Apparently the bright lights wakes him up because he was asleep the entire car right oh, here. Yeah. And once the yeah, once the lights came on, he's he was he's perked right up. <laughs> yeah, he's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I know that he can't be contained here on this desk for too long. Mm -hmm. But um, let's just talk about if anybody wants more information about him. What's the best way for mm -hmm. them to contact you? Well, he is at our Glades Cutoff location at 8890 Glades Cutoff Road, mm -hmm. right off of Midway. And he is. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, to, <laughs> oh, he buddy. just wants to get a little closer to you, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you want more information on him, you can check out our website, hsslc.org, <laughs> or uh, just call us, 772-461-0687. Of course, just come in and take okay. him down to play ours if you want to. Okay, that's great. That's great. I'd love to see some, some shots of him. You guys take uh, really good pictures of the dogs and the other animals mm -hmm. and stuff. You guys always post on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. That's awesome. It really showcases their personalities. Exactly. We try to get pictures that, you know, encompass their disposition and really get there. So right. people look at it, they don't just see, you know, the same picture over and over again. They actually try right. to get a true feeling of what they're like. Yeah. Well, he's, uh, he's very affectionate and that's mm -hmm. wonderful. So hopefully uh, someone will see him and take an interest and check him out and hopefully we can get him into a good home. Um, now, I know that you guys, you go to Petco and different places. You go to other places too, businesses, right? Yeah, you know, sometimes, I mean, we were at National Night Out with the police department out here in, mm -hmm. um, I think it was July, and, or uh, no, it was August, sorry. Okay. And then August as well, we were at uh, Tradition Square. Remax was holding a back to school special. So, Great. you know, we're always looking to get out in the community. So. That's Great. If anyone's interested, come here, buddy. <laughs> if anyone's interested in having us out at their uh, events, just you know, give us a call again, seven seven two four six one zero six eight seven. We love to make appearances and. And again, it doesn't have to be events geared towards animal people, no. or I mean, it can re it can no. really be anything. Like the National Night Out was geared towards you know fighting back against crime, right? You know, reducing the crime rates, the back to school specials. Um, we have. We're going to be at, um, well, Blessing for the Animals, obviously, is something to do with the animals. Right, but, right. Um, and when is that event? That's, that's coming up soon? October 4th in Tradition Square. We'll be there from 9 to 11. Okay. Probably with our RV. You right. know, we'll probably have about 8 to 10 dogs. Okay. And then after that, of course, we're always at Petco and PetSmart. That's great. Okay, but it is, it's neat to get out in the community and you, you mm -hmm. guys are smart about it because you go to these events where there are going to be lots of people, mm -hmm. you know, just to get a wider audience to take a look at everybody because, Absolutely. you know, I mean, I don't know how many, I mean, how many people do you find come to the shelter to, I don't, I don't want to say shop for an animal, yeah. but, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, do you get a lot of people coming, I mean, do they come in with purpose or are they just coming in to kind of it's see if... Most, most of the times they check them out, you know, just to get a feel for yeah. it, and then you'll see them here or there within a month or two just looking around. Right. Um, you know, some days, it's weird, some Saturdays we're packed, we'll have 10, you know, 12 adoptions, others it's just one or two, yeah. so it just, it's just weird, I don't know if it's... 
just goes in cycles. Yeah. yeah. So definitely the more appearances we make out in the community, the better for That's them. That's great. And it's the great for them exposure. to get out of the shelter. Absolutely. For, have, some, have some fun time Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Well, he's ready to get out of here, <laughs> I think. So just one more time, give us the phone number and website. Yeah, our website is hsslc.org, and our telephone number is 772-461-0687. All right, all right, Frank. We're going to let you go and explore. Yeah. He's very interested in everything that's going on around here. Mm -hmm. So Frank and David Lynch, thank you so much for being here. We well, really thank you appreciate so much for it. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, look forward to it. And we'll be right back after these messages.